Welcome to Tramplay's As I Planet, an early access game by Adam Sharman. I've already gone ahead and gone through the tutorial for Mission 1, Mission 2, Scudbuck. Goliath class sighted Kaiju in the Kaiju Boneyard. We advise Kaiju possess heavy ranged weaponry. This is the final boss of the Tower Defense meets Survivors gameplay. We can pick any character we've unlocked since we've already beaten level 1, we can select the Prodigy for our hero, or we could only have selected Engineer otherwise. We'll just go with the Prodigy because that's new. And then we get to select our auto attacking weapon, either a self destructing item or a sword, ranged blaster, and I'm gonna go ahead and try the grenade pistol this time around. Move with WASD, you zoom in and out with the mouse wheel, and the build menu is E key by default. There always seems to be so many of these survivor style games, but I do like the building element of this. It reminds me of this one first person game that had co-op shooting. It's not Orcs Must Die, but it was a futuristic version of that. But these are games where you can build stuff such as traps and towers and still engage in the enemy with a first person perspective to defeat them as they approach your core or anything you had to defend. Prepare yourself a monster slaying, rookie. This is one of many random variations that the game can introduce you with. This is our ship's health. If we were the engineer, we would recover 25 health per end of each wave. The shield regenerates every wave, as well as any buildings that get destroyed. Here are the level ups or perks that you currently have. As our prodigy, we get the minigun and the nova tower type buildings. Press the E key to activate the building menu. Generators give us an interest. However, there's an important thing to note. You have an interest cap. These can be useful, but understand that if you're already hitting the cap, you're not getting more better. However, a later upgrade that you can get will remove the cap entirely. At the moment, I have 64 gold. I'm already going to get 15% interest just naturally. I'm going to have nine money if I don't spend anything now. Then we have our Nova Tower releases an expanding electric field. These two will be different if you're just starting the game and you're the engineer. You'll get a regular gun and a rocket launcher. Every time you deploy an item, it will raise the cost. So if this is the money, we'll say 12 gold, I don't know what else to call it. Then when I place, yeah, I'll just go ahead and place the minigun there. You notice there's now 13 gold. Our enemy is actually going to come from the right this round, but they will eventually be moving in from all sides. So it wouldn't be hurtful to, to have others. It's just I won't get as much interest now because I've spent one minigun on the bottom side. And that's okay. Try Nova Tower, and I know that's not shielded. That's okay. We want to stop them before they hit our shield. Not only will we get more money for that, which is unlikely to happen that often. It's good interest cap plus 10, in fact. But uh, not only will we get more money for that, but eventually we're going to be tied up. You'll, you'll see. It, it does get very, very crammed in later waves, and I might not even survive this um, mission. Now, if you do die as a pilot, or whatever you want to call it, as a crewman, you respawn about three seconds or so. As you might have guessed from being able to build a suit, equip a suitcase that is only attacks enemies on death. We go and level up. Now, let's get more... Uh, th this is not actually that big a deal, considering there might be 12 or so waves. Maybe, we'll say, we'll say 20 waves at most. This means that if we have 19 waves left, that's only 38 gold. That's almost nothing. So we're going to not even worry about that. But normally, I love maxing out income. This is not going to be worth it. Let's go and get Nova Tower to increase our towers themselves. We can see that that has already increased this Nova Tower. Now, they are going to be attacking on the south side this time. And we'll go ahead and just place one tower. I guess right there is fine. We have research 15% chance to get a level up. This character, the Prodigy, gets a 15% research bonus every round. Uh, it says their breakthrough chance accumulates when you don't conduct research. So if I don't do anything now, I have a 30% chance next round to level up. We'll go and hold off on doing our breakthrough and just continue to fight. I'm unlikely to get the perfect shield bonus, and that's okay. You still want to continue to build outward to give yourself more time to fight. We did get our perfect shield, which is only a single coin. We can get the rocket launcher, which is the same thing that the engineer starts with. We can also reduce our income, but get more global damage. I'm not going to do that one right now. I don't like any of these that much. I've never tried the mine layer. Let's give that a shot, I suppose. You do have a certain amount of buildable items, as well as a certain number of weapons. For example, I could get either a briefcase, a sword, or the blaster pistol. But that's it. I, I don't. I don't. I can't equip all the weapons at once, like you might in other survivor games. 
in this game, you can only have a certain number of towers. So this mine layer has now taken up one of my tower slots. Lays high explosive air mines. Okay. Well, we'll hold off on doing anything with that right now. We have an interest cap of 35, and we're not going to hit that cap just yet with my per current percentage of 15%. I would actually like to, to show the game. I'd like the game to show you how much you are expected to get. I know I've got 72 right now, so it should automatically calculate that for you. That would be a nice touch. I picked grenade launchers because the enemy, as you can see, there's tons of them. And having any single shot weapons, sure, it might be a machine gun style, but having an area effect weapon looks like it pays off more. I mean, that Nova Tower just wiped out so many of them. Towers that are at the edge of the shield can still get damaged even if the shield is up. You can also expand your shield, but then you're less likely to get the perfect shield rating. Right, so we can increase the blast radius to mine there, which we haven't yet done. Global attack speed, 10%. All weapons lose accuracy. That's not such a big deal for my Nova Tower. I know that I have other other towers, but we'll go and go get this one. And it looks like we now have enemies uh, emerging from the north side. So we'll go ahead and deploy a mine tower on the north side and see what how that works. And one Nova Tower. Which side should I put it on? Let me think here. I could, if I wanted to, try just expand just a little bit further. It, it, so maybe, say, put a minigun there, and then Nova Tower. Like that. It, it does lose a little bit here, but enemies are likely to try to... If they, if they start over here, they are likely to try to wrap around this tower to hit your ship. And as they're entering from this area, they're likely to approach from there. Wow, I'm, I'm wording bad. There is no penalty that I know of if, you're hit, if your hero is killed. He just takes about a couple seconds to respawn. I mean, that, yes, is a penalty, but I'm talking about in terms of, say, stat loss or gold penalty. I didn't actually get to see the mine layer in action. But we can see that they are attacking my ship right now. I, I can't tell my guy which where who to throw the grenades at, so he, he just decides for himself. So we are down to 30, and this is only wave 4. My ship did not get any health back, it looks like. Uh, so the the engineer that you can pick at the very beginning, he might actually be all superior to everything else considering he can heal the ship on his own. We'll see if I ever get more health back. As a grenade pistol, we can actually increase our projectiles by 1, so let's do that. We can also attempt to, to level up right now. 60% chance, let's do it! Breakthrough, so we get another level up. And we can go for the the blast gun. All right, we definitely need more defenses. That was not enough. We we got roasted. I didn't actually see what how good the mine layer was. Pop another one down, and we'll put a mini gun. Sure, like that. Right, that that'll give me quite a bit of range on the mine layer. Let's see how that all pans out for me. We want to keep a little bit of money to get more interest, and there's a mountain in the way here, so actually that Nova Tower is placed very badly. You notice it's barely hitting anybody. As for the mine layer, I guess these are the mines, sure. So, so mine layers are better interior, I suppose, because it, no, it despawns, so it do, I guess it doesn't matter if it's out or not. I can see these are just despawning after a while. Yeah, we can increase our shield hood points, maybe. Um, scout drones, I like that. I'm going to put the scout drones out in the distance. Scout drones, once produced, are uh, they're able to continue to fight. And they don't seem to respawn during a way. This will give me a little bit more range if I place them like this. And I know it now make no interest, but it's, it's fine. These are the scout drones, you can see them working. And it looks like Nova Tower is just doing the most work out of everything else. 
I don't know how good the miniguns are. It says it destroys projectiles, so it might help the fight enemy. Uh, the bugs do shoot projectiles. Okay, we can do barricades, which are cheap, but they accrue um, cumulative costs like everything else. So I think we'll go with the blast radius instead. I really like these Nova Towers. They do work. So why don't we put one here? I, I don't think you can cross through the bones, so they'll have to... Yeah, they'll, they'll have to go move from up there. Another Nova Tower here. Um, not too far from each other, so they can continue to pulse and, and damage many things at once. As far as this, let's go and just put a couple of these down to block enemy shots. Oh, never mind, I'm out of money. I think these guys are su suicide units. I think that's what the little red circle indicates is how far the damage will be when you get... Yep, there we go, they took some damage there. Alright, that actually went a lot better. We still have only 30 hit points, so I, I don't think my ship's going to get any, any healthier over time. I'll go ahead and level up our mine layer and move on. We even got a perfect shield bonus that wave too. But don't expect that to happen a lot. The, the drone is stopping me from moving to the left. We're going. We can actually increase our interest cap. Let's let's go and do that. I think it's a bug. It says infinite now, and it is infinite. However, the next interest cap level up says infinite, meaning I think it gave me an infinite one level early. If I see it again, I won't bother picking it. I did try picking it before to see if it gave me any benefits. So at this point, we can essentially start rolling in interest if I can build up enough. Um, we have 57 right now. We get 15% interest rate. That'll be just 8 or 9 gold. We won't do anything right now, and we'll just go ahead and send the next wave. Unfortunately, your dude will just shoot grenades wherever he feels like. It doesn't always seem to be the most the most valuable spot that he could like right there. He was, I know he was leading the target, but they wouldn't get through the shield anyways. Uh, or I mean, they, they will try to, but they have to take down the shield. So that's why he, he whiffed on all of them. All right, now we had a nine interest there. We can get a research lab, which will increase our breakthrough chance. Right now we have a 75% chance, but we only get 15 per round. Well, if I place this, I would get 23 per round. I guess we'll go and learn that, and we'll try for the research. We might not make it, but we did. We did. Okay, let me think here. So let's try to get some more income, and I want to try to place things to, to slow down the enemy. It, it, it beats getting your ship blown up. These guys tend to just carry enemies inside them, and then when you destroy them, more enemies appear. Uh, this will probably be the wave I die on, actually. I didn't know that this that you don't have any ship regeneration. Uh, <laughs> so I, I think probably the engineer is the best unit, is what I'm assuming. This is probably a, a reference to, to Metal Gear. But if we were to go hit restart, we we start with all the same settings we picked before, which unit we have and what weapon we start with. So I would probably go to main menu from here. And then if I were to play again, I would pick this guy. Because without that ship regeneration, I, I, I feel like victory is much more difficult. But that being said, a true pro would probably never get his shield down, I guess. 
As I do with most games, I wrote some formulas to make math simplified. By doing so, I can tell if I should build the next generator or not, when I will hit the interest cap, or how much I need at any interest rate to hit the cap. So now I'm rich, and money means power. Just ask Batman. Also, the terrain around the map offers bonuses to your structures. Ruins give double HP, and water provides speed or income. This base is not sprawled out like my trial run at Mission 2, the episode you just saw. This is a serious base. Casuals would call this tryhard. I would like to utilize the next ruins just in the distance, just because, but it's not that big a deal. Each tower extends my range by what I would consider as one and a half tiles. There's no half tiles. It's just a way for me to visualize distances. Another successful breakthrough. Maybe it's just because I'm rich, but it's good to reroll until you can find something you can actually use. It's the last level, so why not exotic ammo? There were 16 waves when I was defeated. That, that's what it said at the scoreboard. So this is the last wave before the boss. Look at all that beautiful destruction. The towers hooked up to the Novas are blast radius in the middle, and cool down on the edges which are also hooked to a single minigun. I don't think the miniguns do that much, but they give me extra options. We can see I didn't put any levels into fighting. This would take a while, but thankfully they are making progress towards my Nova Towers. I don't think I need to build anything. I will point out that an acid planet you can build even in the middle of a wave. You're in your 27 interest. Nice. Showtime. Guide you coming in up. I know it's a rocket pod, but man, if it doesn't just look like a toaster instead. Okay, obviously the Novas aren't as good against a single target, but up until now, we didn't need to deal with a single target. But I did place miniguns, didn't I? You don't actually have to stay and fight everyone. Not that we couldn't handle the last unit right there. Level 20. Wave 1, you start as level 1, and wave 16, you can't level up on. That should be 5 breakthroughs then, or once every 3 waves. And that was Acid Planet. I haven't seen the acid yet, and I would like triple the terrain modifiers strewn around the map since you aren't going to be building way out there. But it was nice for a short play session. Thank you very much for watching Tramp plays Acid Planet. I'll see you next time.